There are two other ways that really, really help you get there. Blocks are your best friend. Now, the most common reason why we don't go far enough in our crow is because we're afraid of smashing our face on the ground. And <laughs> that's a very valid fear. Nobody likes that. So there is the uh, option of having a, a landing pad out in front of you, a crash landing pad, anything soft, a bolster, a blanket. But I really like this block because it is high enough for you to rest your forehead on. So what you're going to do is take the block out in front of you. I like it long ways. Position yourself just far enough away so that you know when you lean forward in your crow position that you can rest your forehead on the block. Knees high up on the triceps, hands down, shoulders distance. Remember to keep that strong chaturanga feeling. Keep the shoulder blades lifting, uh, shoulder tips lifting, elbows firming in. Now lean forward before you even lift your feet up off the ground, place your forehead on the block. Then pull your toes up towards your butt. Another thing that happens in crow is that we forget about our feet. So don't forget to engage your feet. I like the point. Really try to kick yourself in the butt with your heel. Then do the other side. Now from here, it's like a push-up. See if you can round your upper back. Think about sliding your knees up your arms. Maybe you lift your head up for a second and come back. Head up for a second and come back. 